So this is part two. If you have not already checked out part one of Santa Rita Ranch, go do that right here. And if you have, thank you again for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get started. So as I had said earlier, this place is absolutely massive. 8,500 plus homes when completed, six pools, and I mean, just so much for the residents. You don't get that award as being the number one best selling community in the Austin area without having some really cool stuff. So let's go ahead and jump right in, kind of check out a few more of the amenities. As you can see, this is the south section of the community and is located to the west of Ronald Reagan Boulevard. There are beautiful ponds spread throughout the community with overlooks to relax and take in the scenery. The green is a great place to have a picnic or enjoy a summer gathering. The green is located next to the hub, which is the second welcome center of the neighborhood. The hub is connected to the second swimming pool and is a great place to lounge on a summer day. The splash pad can keep the little ones entertained while you catch up on some reading. There is also a sand volleyball court to get your best top gun on, three basketball hoops, and an outdoor workout area. This neighborhood is centered around fun and there are playgrounds built throughout the community to use. I was there at 8 a.m. in the morning and the community was already buzzing with people walking their dogs, enjoying the basketball courts, uh, getting ready to swim, you know, using the gym, all of that stuff. So if you are looking for an active community, this is it for sure. And this is just a little bit of it. There is still so much to be built in the neighborhood. And like I said, four more pools. So uh, I'll definitely keep an eye out and keep you up to date with what's going on. Like I said, this community is going to be 8,500 homes. So you can imagine it is massive. And with that, it is actually zoned to two uh, school districts. So that is what we're gonna take a look at next. The part of the community north of the line will attend Georgetown ISD and the part south of the line will attend Liberty Hill ISD. Liberty Hill ISD consists of Santa Rita Elementary School, 
Santa Rita Middle School, and then Liberty Hill High School. And as you can see, the elementary school and the middle school are within the community and Liberty Hill High School is just west. Georgetown ISD consists of Wolf Ranch Elementary School, Tippett Middle School, and then Eastview High School. Unfortunately, all of these schools are outside of the community and a little bit of a drive for the residents. And just to show you a little bit of what is out there, there's an HEB super close by. Uh, there's also a Whole Foods, a Costco, you have an Ikea, you have Round Rock Premium Outlets, along with a Leander Medical Plaza, Cedar Park Medical Center, and then Leander Springs. And if you don't know anything about Leander Springs, it is going to be really cool. And as always, if Santa Rita Ranch doesn't work for you, check out all of the other communities in extreme, extremely close to Santa Rita Ranch. And just in case you're interested, you can see the 10-year trends with prices starting in 2012, a little above 200,000. And now in 2022, we're just below 600,000. These prices have also seen quite the change being just around 15,000 back in 2012 and now being a little over 2,000. We're starting to see a little bit of change in the market. So if you are thinking about buying, it might be the time to reach out. Uh, I'd love to help you. I hope these videos have been helpful as well. If you haven't checked out a few of the other ones, go check them out. There's so many communities out there that you're sure to find something that fits your needs. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe and stay tuned next week for another really awesome community. Thanks.